community. It's Brian from Brian's Vinyl Records, and this is a special episode in celebration of Mazzy's channel, Norman Mazloff, and his 50th Whack-A-Mole. So we're playing Whack-A-Mole. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the rules are you just randomly select five albums from your collection and then talk a little bit about each one. So let's get started. Let's see. That. Uh, let's go down here and grab that. Uh, let's go down here. Grab this one. That's three. Let's, let's go up here. Alright, that four. And let's go down this way. Let's see. Let's grab this one right here. All right, I got my five albums. Let's get started. The first one, Madonna's Like a Prayer. So this one I found when I was on a business trip in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. There is a record store that was recommended to me there called Revival Records. And uh, this one I just had never seen like uh, out in the open before. They had it there. Uh, so I picked it up. It's kind of cool. This is a repress edition. I believe uh, came out in the mid 2010s. Black vinyl. Uh, sounds terrific. It was, I think, when I got it, it was still sealed. So not a bad deal. So that's my first one, Madame Like Prayer. Next up, we've got the Scorpions Blackout. So what I remember most about this is that my uncle had this album in his collection. And when I was a kid, we would go to my grandma's house uh, every Sunday and we'd hang out with my grandpa. And my uncle had a lot of his stuff still in my grandma's basement. And what he had down there in his basement was his record collection. So I had a small turntable at home. I would go down there, dig through his record collection, and I would bring one or two albums with me back home listen to him during the week and then bring him back and put him back before he found out what I was doing. So he never knew I was listening to his records, but that's what I kind of did. But I remember seeing this one and thinking what a weird cover it was. And at the time I wasn't really into the Scorpions. So when I saw this used, I had to pick it up because it's just an iconic cover. I mean, kind of painful and all that, but this is a great album. This one has a uh, candle without you on it. It has, um, Oh, I don't even know. Blackout is one of the bigger ones, but a great album. Love the Scorpions now. Uh, I remember when I was in middle and high school and the station, the heavy metal station there, they played the hell out of the Scorpions. Like that's all you heard was Rush and the Scorpions constantly. Like every fourth song was Rush or the Scorpions. And so you got kind of tired of them. So I didn't listen for the longest time, but um, as I started collecting records, I started listening again because I hadn't heard them every four songs. So very cool. Next one, this is Leanne Rhymes, uh, Lady and Gentleman. So this is like a, a covers album that she put out. And I'm a big fan of Leanne Rhymes. I remember when Blue came out and that first album was just spectacular. Then her second album came out, which is still not on vinyl, which I hope that they will release someday soon. But that one cemented my fandom of her. Loved it. I went and saw her in concert. She was touring with uh, Brian White, another great country artist who I wish his stuff was on vinyl, but um, it, it was a great concert. Been a fan ever since, collected all her albums on CD, and now I've been slowly kind of getting whatever's available on vinyl as well, which isn't a whole lot, which is too bad. But this is a covers album. It's pretty cool. They've got Swingin' on here. It's got um, Walk the Line cover on here. Uh, just all sorts of different classic country songs that she had gone ahead and covered, so pretty neat. Next one here, this is Red Hot Chili Peppers Greatest Hits. So I'm not a huge Red Hot Chili Peppers fan per se. So when this came up, I think it was on sale uh, for nine bucks. So I jumped on it because I do like some Red Hot Chili Peppers, but not enough to sit and buy their whole catalog. So this is perfect. So when there are artists that I do like, but not like love, 
I like to get their greatest hits packages because those are the songs I'll know mostly and I'm not investing a ton of money into a catalog that I don't even know if I'll like or not. So this is great. It's got all the hits on it from all the way back to, you know, Under the Bridge, Give It Away, uh, Californication, um, Higher Ground cover that they did from Stevie Wonder. Uh, just a really, really cool compilation and it sounds fantastic. So that was awesome. And the last one to show is another greatest hits randomly selected this is alice cooper's greatest hits it's a classic if you love the alice cooper band this is almost a must-have here uh, i haven't collected a ton of alice cooper i got into him because of the song poison off the trash album and then of course i saw him do feed my frankenstein in the wayne's world movie and that album hey stupid was one of my favorites when i was growing up so i have a lot a lot more into that late 90s or late 80s early 90s alice cooper and then started going back to his older stuff as i was growing up and uh, picked this up for dirt cheap it was well worth it great album awesome hits on here so there you go that is five randomly selected albums from my collection i hope you enjoyed my take on the whack-a-mole so check out mazzy i'll leave a link to his channel i'm sure everybody's already seen Mazzy's channel before, but I hope you enjoy this episode of Whack-A-Mole. Congrats, uh, Mazzy, on your 50th Whack-A-Mole. I've been watching them uh, as I go and really enjoying them. I think I just watched episode uh, 32 recently, so I'm getting through them one at a time, but I love them. They're interesting because most of the stuff that you're showing them, I have never heard of before, so it's kind of a cool way to kind of listen and hear about new music so thanks again for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you are new hit that subscribe button below and if you want to please leave a comment below love talking to you and everyone in the vinyl community thanks for watching and until next time keep spinning vinyl friends